Awesome job, dude. What Good are you to filming? See What's this? I'm just a friend. Uh, Adam, facts. Uh, uh, Nick Ritchie. Do you guys know oh, who so, pays oh, you? Yeah. I'm just working, man. How you doing, man? Good. Good to see. I'm a huge fan of what you guys are doing, Brad. Fan of the gym. F dude, the bag thing that you did. It was so funny. The, video, the what? The bag thing with the fake bag. Oh, yeah, yeah. I appreciate Such that. a good video. Oh, it was Thank a real you. bag. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was fake. It was a fake bag. Did he do it? Uh, I didn't find a real bag like that. Real who bag. do you think was so far in the Full Simp Podcast? Who was the best one? That, uh, you know, you're a fan at the end of the day. Who well, like a best host? Your best Because you're talking to him right now. Best host. Yeah, but who was the best, best host? Guest? Yeah, you're talking to him right now. He likes to cap on camera. <laughs> <laughs> who do you? I watch that name. Go on gang. A lot of gang shit. A lot of gang shit. Is there in there? Nah, hell no. <laughs> yeah, no. Why are you trying to spit on like that? What? The hell? Who, who is your favorite one that you've had on the show? The oh, one that's that so like tough, bro. Because I like, I've had a. What do you think? What up, man? I live right next to um, you. How can you not say Elon Musk? That was an interesting one. Yeah. Was there one that you actually think you wish maybe went a little bit better? Like it was just like, hey, we're. It didn't go the way you wanted. A little bit better. It wasn't even just like. like what do you think about that? If there's if there's one podcast, this is a good question. You think there's one podcast that could have went a little bit better? Yeah, I wish went a little bit better. Yeah. Well, I mean, man, I'm don't thinking, say Tate. Yeah. No, Tate was Tate was amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, sometimes like some of the questions, like you know, some of the guests feel a little rushed. What like are you they're mean trying by that? to get out of there? What the like fuck? Like they have an hour or some shit. Oh yeah. yeah. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, who said who was like that? Well, it was in Miami. Yachty? No, not Yachty. Who? The baby? Yeah. yeah. Mm. But that's on them. Like if the get, I'm gonna tell you right now, every podcast is guest dependent. Yeah. If the if the guest is there and wants to be there having fun, then it makes it way Depends easier. Depends how much they want to open up. Well, but yes. you know what it is for me. You know, again, I'm not saying, but I meet a lot of interesting people and meet and talk to a lot of big celebrities. The bigger they are, the cooler the person, from my experience. You know, like Elon Musk was actually a, like he's a good guy, like you know, and I, yeah. you know, he's pretty cool. I wasn't for there for time. that one. I know, but I mean, it was just. I don't know. Was there one person that you met though? Like obviously being in California, that you met like a big celebrity. Like actually, they're pretty cool. Like most of them. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't any celebrities that I was like, he's just a fucking asshole. Yeah. Some obviously like their times a lot more like, oh, they have to go do this or do that, so they're a little more like stuck to their schedule and they have to leave. But yeah. No one ever, no one ever really like stood out. I was like, oh, that guy's just a dick. Let me ask you this. I know it's a little sensitive t subject, but. I want to ask. Um, oh, here we go. Yeah, I Bob. Have you spoken to him at all? Is there? It, it, do you hope it kind of Bob. clears the air at all, or what's uh, your thoughts? I know it sucks. It's I'm just... gonna say this right now. Like, I'm with Full Send. Love Full Send. Love Nelk. Obviously, that's who I'm with. Yeah. Kyle, John, Sammy, all my boys. Bob's was my friend before them. He'll always be my friend. But I mean, at the end of the day, everybody saw what was good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they exposed everything that they shown was real so it's like whatever yeah but at the end of the day i want to make it clear like bob's my friend he'll always be a friend of mine i hear you no i get it it's just a shitty situation yeah. at the end of the day yeah how has your life love changed ever since the show and everything full send you become more of a figure are you <laughs> is your dms blowing up or what's your girl situation like <laughs> <laughs> crazy you would ask because uh no really they dry. haven't and i don't know why the super fuck dry. they have it super dry are why serious? are my dms not popping i don't get it no but, you're not no but when we go out it's it a male helps fan base. yeah a male fan base. Yeah, but when we go out, it helps. I'm sure girls gotta yeah. be going nuts because you like, like. Yeah, one would think, right? I, one I would like, fucking think. <laughs> yeah, Elon Musk. One would think, yeah, like, yo, who am I gonna take down tonight? But yeah. No. One last thing, obviously, Bradley. Yeah. This you would know this. I see in Hollywood a lot of actors like The Rock and all these guys. They're so jacked at 50 years old and stuff like that. How much do you think? And it's not spoke about. How much is like these guys taking stuff in LA right now in oh. Hollywood? And they're all taking stuff. Yeah. I was saying, I watch y'all yeah. on YouTube. I wasn't oh, my guy parked rude. the car real nah, quick. Nah. Holy nah. fuck. My man Bradley. Where'd you Sandy, park the whip? Down the street. Bro. You got here real fast. Yeah, I got my hands fucked up. He got yeah, here I real fast. Yeah, like, nah, real no, shit. Dab, you I just wanted quick, to tell y'all that I fuck with y'all shit. I watch y'all on YouTube all day with me. We do real shit. Nah, real oh, yeah, bro. I do music, by the way. Thank you, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah. All right, man. Take care. Mr. Mayo, by the way, too. Let's go. Thank you. Brad, so you think everyone's on something in Hollywood? I think something to a degree, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. there's no way you're just... Well, it's not here's the deal with, like, steroids, right? It's not just, like, you're taking steroids to be a jacked bodybuilder, right? There's tons of other benefits. Obviously, aesthetically, for, like, movies and stuff like yeah. that, if an actor knows, let's say they did, like, all these roles, and then they know, oh, I have this long to look like this for this role that's going to equal whatever, millions and millions of dollars, then it's like, maybe they need to take something to get a little further. Back, so real quick, back to the gym. Yeah. Do you think LA and the, we see all the gyms in Dog Pound? And, and do you think LA has got 
especially with the men, they're seeing a little bit of people, a steroid problem. Or not even a problem. Or, I feel like people have been doing this kind of stuff forever. Right? I think more so now people are probably more uh, accepting of it. I think people understand how important it is to like get your blood work done and check in on yourself and make yourself make sure you're good. Yeah. Depending on what you're doing. I think there's a lot more um, knowledge in it now. But there, is it like just a better cocktail they're able to get so they're able to get their blood tested if they want to get more testosterone? I think it's just awareness, right? Like I said, if you're getting your blood work done and you know what your levels are, then you know kind of where you're at or where you should be or where you shouldn't be. Yeah. So. Well, I saw Bryce Hall. I remember he, he was getting jacked a little bit. He said, he, I forget what he was taking. What so he was thinking? taking SARMs or some shit. Yeah. What do you think is, uh, is that, be, are you seeing a lot of that in the gym community? Well, that came, that, that got really popular because like it got popular on TikTok with younger kids thinking like, I'm taking SARMs and I'm not taking steroids, but like you're essentially doing the same shit to your body. Yeah. You're affecting your body in a way that's gonna, you're gonna need some sort of like, get back to normal, yeah. right? But they, it's, it's justified, just like back in the day when I was like in my early 20s, pro hormones were the thing that were really popular. And they were like, it's not steroids, but it was basically just the oral steroid, but it was a different derivative of a steroid. But they didn't call it exactly the same name as that steroid. Yeah. So they said it's grayer and it's not a steroid. But it was doing and having the same effects on young men. Yeah. And it's just kind of like, people not knowing enough about it, and like I said, all these things that are gray area, like there's not, they're not as researched as like in, in specifically like testosterone, right? Yeah. So people find themselves in weird situations because like I don't think they understand fully what they're getting themselves into. Um, so that tends to happen, I think, uh, with the younger crowd. Yeah. So. Lastly, you guys see a lot of social media stars in LA. Who is the prettiest one in person? The one like, man, she'll take your breath away. She's just like, she's just what naturally pretty. Um, that I've seen see, in person? Yeah, because we see filters on social Probably media. Madison Beer. Is she that? Yeah. She's. She's very pretty. Yeah. Very pretty, cool. Yeah, yeah. chill, cool. nice, very pretty. I love Who it. Who would you say? Why are you smiling at me when I say that? I didn't smile. I don't know. I'm trying to think, <laughs> trying to think like, I, I don't know. I, I'm not really in a scene like that. With, like, no, I mean, yeah. I don't go out like that. You go out like that. You DM like that. I don't DM like that. <laughs> <laughs> you slide in my DMs. I love it, dude. Good to see you, though, yeah, man. Honestly, good you. to see you in New York. It's like it's just I love cool it to see you, man. All right, all right, brother. Brother, nice Carson, I appreciate it. Thank you.